Hey guys, so in this video, we'll be continuing with part four of the how to build a SaaS series. So in this video, we'll be updating the styling of our application. So we'll be updating this page as well. And lastly, we'll create a landing page. So that'll help with explaining our application. So if this is something you'd like to learn how to do, then watch this video. The first improvement we can make is maybe separating these two forms into their own box. So we'll do that now. So back in VS Code, if we see over here, this is the main box here. So what we can do is actually just create a new box for the blog image generator. So what we can do first is just copy everything here up to the last div over here. Okay, and paste that. And let's just see how this looks like on our application. Yep, so what we want to do is just have one form on each. So let's just do that now back in VS Code. Okay, so for the first one, we don't need the blog image generator, so we can remove this one. And then for the bottom one, we don't need the blog content generator. Okay, great. So yeah, so now these two applications are on their own box, which makes it look cleaner in my opinion. Okay, so yeah, so now our button here is working. What I just needed to, what I just had to do was make sure npm run dev was initialized. So just over here in the terminal, just make sure you do npm run dev and that will allow the Tailwind CSS styles to work. Okay, so let's see how else we can improve the styling here. Let's move the input on its own line right underneath the submit button. So going back in VS Code. Okay, so let's just create a div just so it's on its own line. Over here, we'll just put a div for the input. Okay, and then let's check out how that looks on the front end. Okay, yeah, so this looks cleaner and let's just put some margin top and bottom. So back in VS Code. Okay, and just to improve the spacing, let's just add some margin on the top and bottom. Margin top, two pixels. Margin bottom, two pixels. And then let's implement this on the image generator as well. So we just need to add a div in the input and then add in our input in between that new div. And then for the div, we just add some margin top and bottom. Okay, so let's check how that looks. Okay, great. So yep, so this looks a lot cleaner. And then lastly, for this section, let's just update the text submission. So let's see how it currently looks like. Yep, so when a blog is posted, it will be added here. So what we can do is just maybe add a, a background to this as well. So let's see how to do that. So we can do like a black background. So let's just see how BG 900 looks like. Okay, so up here in this div, what we want to do is add a background. So let's do BG gray 900. Okay, let's see how that looks on the app. Okay, let's just give it some padding on the top, bottom, left, and right. So back in VS Code, what you want to do over here is just add padding 5, and let's just give it some margin top as well. And then here on the heading as well, let's just give it some margin top so it has some separation. And let's check that out. Okay, and then just refresh. Let's do dogs. Okay, great. So this looks a lot better. So let's just Im implement this as well for the bottom one. And then I think it should be good for the dashboard. Okay, so back in VS Code, we'll just copy our styling to the image generator as well. So again, just over here, just add some mar margin top. And then in the div, we're gonna just add a background color, BG gray 900, some padding, and then margin top. And then let's check that out. Back on the dashboard over here, let's do a dog. Okay, great, so the input is showing over here now as well. And it's it's more prominent with the, the border box around it. Okay, so I think this is an improvement for our dashboard. It looks nicer than how it was initially. Okay, so next let's improve the subscription page here and just fix the spacing and like the coloring as well, just so that it matches the styling on the dashboard. Okay, so back here in VS Code, what we can do is over here in the, the subscribe blade, the PHP, so we can update the styling. So what we have here, so for the so for the text, we can start with that. And then let's see. Okay, so over here, so let's just update the color. Let's see if we can just do class text white. Okay, so that looks more readable already. Let's make this a little bit larger. The class equals text2xl, and then the name field. Let's just put a semicolon there. So let's just add styling to the button here. So we can just go back to our dashboard and then just use the same st classes that we had in our dashboard on the subscription 
and then paste. Yeah, let's just add margin all around just so it has more spacing. Okay, and I think there's too much padding, so just remove the padding and let's check it out. Okay, so bad. the button looks a lot cleaner. And then lastly, let's just fix this card details where there's this big space. So let's see how to fix that. I can VS code. So over here in the label, again, let's uh, change the text color to white class text white. And we check that out. The card details are in white. And then again, just add a semicolon so that it's a bit cleaner. And then lastly, we'll just fix this spacing over here. It's just too wide. So let's just lower the width. So back in VS code. Right now it's set to one half. So let's just change it to a quarter width. And let's check that out. Yep, so now it's together over here. Okay, so lastly, let's just fix up the spacing so that there's just more space around each element because right now it's just really bunched up. So back in VS Code. Okay, so starting with the bottom button, let's just add some margin top, say five. And then with the, the label here, just give it some margin top as well. So over here with this div, let's just give it some margin top. Okay, I think uh, let's say two. Okay, and then for this div again, you need to add a class and margin top two. This div, just again, another class, margin top. And lastly, the description, main title, give it some margin top. And let's check it out. Yep, so everything is more spaced out. Let's just um, give it some padding left as well so that it's, it's not so close to the left side. So we can just do that for the whole container. So here in VS Code, we're just over here and just give it some padding, padding left, four pixels, and then let's check it out. Okay, so this is good on the subscription page. Lastly, let's just fix the styling of the home page here. Okay, so here in VS Code, let's just see what they have here. So we can edit the logo just over here. Instead of this SVG, let's just change it to AI SAS. Okay, so we'll just make it uh, an H1, AI SAS. And then, okay, then we're just gonna give it a style. So just change the color to white. Okay, so font white, and then let's check it out on the front end. Yep, so we have AI SAS here. Okay, so we can just remove these ones down here at the bottom. Yep, so this section, we could just remove. And then let's see here. Let's just do one big container. Okay, so this one, we can, this one over here. And then over here, we can just start removing these ones two and then this one over here let's see how that looks like on the front end now okay let's just re-add one of the divs i think yep so let's just remove each one okay so that's one and the last one over here we can remove okay let's just check that out on the front end now okay so over here just in this section let's just change it to a full width layout let me check it out on the home page so now we have just this layout over here and then let's just add like a little blurb so back here in vs code we can just edit the little blurbs that they have here let's give it a headline get more done with ai and then just a little blurb ai SaaS is an application that helps you generate blog content faster okay so let's just check that out back here and just refresh so we have our nice landing page over here and then let's just fix the links here. So uh, link to the dashboard page. So in VS Code, we're just gonna make it link to the dashboard instead. So here, we can just, instead of documentation, we'll just link to dash dashboard. Here's our little landing page and then click get started. And then since we're not logged in, we'll just redirect us to the login page. Okay, so lastly, let's just remove this white space over here, this empty space over here. So everything is pushed to the top. So back here in VS Code, what we want to do is just remove these two lines here, as M justify content and as M item center. Okay, just save that and then view the front end and then just refresh. And then everything is pushed up here to the top. So this concludes the end of the video. I hope you were able to update the styling of our application. In the next video, we'll be working on launching the application online using Laravel Forge. So we'll work on that in the next video of the series. So please like and subscribe for more content like this, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.